I'm Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, East Orlando's number one real estate company. I've lived here and been selling real estate here in the area full time for over 36 years. And one of the many reasons to live here in the Orlando area and to be able to enjoy it is the historic Ritz Theater here in Sanford. This video is about the history of the Ritz Theater. So join us in celebrating a hundred years of history as we explore the fascinating story of the Ritz Theater and its significant role in Sanford in Orlando's history. Let's go back in time and commemorate this cultural gem's 100th anniversary. The Ritz Theater, located at 201 South Magnolia Avenue here in the downtown heart of Sanford off of First Avenue, it's earned its place in history when it was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places on January 9th, 2001. Before it became the Ritz Theater at Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center, this iconic venue was famously known as the Mullane Theater. In July 1923, Sanford's Mullane Theater with 823 seats, a four-story fly system, a proscenium arch, an orchestra pit, hosted live dramas and movies that attracted enthusiastic audiences from all over Sanford and Orlando and the whole area. The dream of a new theater in downtown Sanford, Florida came through the collaboration of the subdivision developers Frank Miller and Edward Lane in the 1920s. They entrusted Sanford architect Ellen Moton to make their vision a reality. In July 1923, as reported by the Sanford Daily Herald, the construction of the Moline Theater in Sanford was completed, providing the city with a much needed asset and a theater that everyone could be proud of. In 1933, in the midst of the Great Depression, Lake Mary investors Frank and Stella Evans purchased the Moline Theater and rebranded it as the Ritz in 1936. The Ritz Theater featured various popular shows over the years. Vaudeville shows came to town and showcased a variety of acts, including singers, dancers, comedians, and magicians. Musical reviews included a mix of songs and sketches, also with elaborate costumes and sets. Operettas featured lighthearted stories with a combination of spoken dialogue and songs. Melodramas were known for their exaggerated emotions, plot twists, and suspense. Burlesques were a form of musical comedy known for their suggestive humor and scantily clad women. For the next three decades, the Ritz Theater thrived under the management of Joseph Marinette, who upgraded the projection equipment, allowing the screening of major motion pictures from studios like Paramount, MGM, and Disney. Snow White graced the Ritz Theater screen just a few months after its 1936 New York release. That's some history. However, in the 1960s, the Ritz faced challenges in staying competitive and eventually closed in 1978, unable to compete with the new multiplex theaters. It remained vacant from 1978 until 1984 when it was revived as a movie house. In 1994, the Ritz Theater Community Projects Incorporated acquired the property thanks to the leadership and determination of Helen Stairs, who played a crucial role in its revival which was a monumental task, indeed. You know, I've seen pictures of that when you go in the Sanford Theater and they have pictures of what it looked like before that renovation and the place was almost gutted. You'd think it would never come back. And of course, it did. In March 2000, the theater was officially named the Helen Stairs Theater for the Performing Arts in honor of Helen Stairs, who led the restoration efforts. The grand reopening gala on May 6, 2000, with Congressman John Micah officiating, marked a return of the newly restored theater to the community. By 2008, additional funds were raised to complete additional renovations and updates, resulting in the renaming of the venue, again, as the Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center, recognizing Wayne Dench's charitable trust contribution to the renovation. These renovations expanded the theater's annex and rehearsal facility while preserving the Ritz and Helen Stairs Theater. Starting in 2015, a fundraising project began to support various capital improvements, critical infrastructure maintenance, and renovations. These projects included repainting the theater, upgrading the marquee with LED technology, lighting, restoring the Ritz Theater sign to its 1930s appearance 
Funds were raised from individual patron donations, the city of Sanford's Community Redevelopment Agency, and again, the Wayne Dench Charitable Trust. Continued updates further enhanced the theater, and in 2020, in preparation for its 100th anniversary, the theater paid homage to its heritage by reinstating the name Ritz Theater, and it's now known as the Ritz Theater at the Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center. Today, the theater is a popular venue for community theater productions, including musicals, plays, dance performances, touring shows, and special events. I go out there several times a year, eight or nine. And of course, the theater also offers a variety of rental options for private events as well. So nowadays, there's something almost weekly worth attending. I buy tickets to go out to the Ritz Theater events maybe six to eight times a year. Each time it's different, and each time it's worthwhile, especially since it brings me out to downtown Sanford to eat too. My favorite place to eat in all of Orlando is Hollerbach's Willow Tree Cafe, which is my favorite restaurant here, and it's just around the corner within walking distance, but that's the subject of another video. Today, the Ritz Theater is an asset to the Sanford community, providing a place for people to come together and enjoy the performing arts. It also offers various educational programs and workshops for people of all ages. Being able to enjoy the Ritz Theater just 20 minutes or so from downtown Oviedo or downtown Orlando is just another great reason to live here in the Orlando area. If you want to move to the Orlando area, why not call Realtor Scott Garrison and Diana Sokoto, the experienced realtors you already know. Obviously, we're committed to, and we know the area with over 36 years of experience selling properties full-time right here. We might be the obvious choice. In the meantime, we'll see you at the next show at our Ritz Theater at Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center. Look for us and say hi. And stay tuned for more history on Oviedo, Central Florida, and the Orlando area.